One reason to go to literary festivals is actually not to meet uh, readers, it's just to meet old friends who, who you wouldn't otherwise see because writers now have networks of friendships right across the planet and the only way we see each other is, is through festivals like these. Literature actually allows us um, to become ourselves by becoming somebody else. Most women want to feel good about themselves. And there's, there's a whole genre of novel which is there to make you feel how, what a wonderful, empathetic, lovely lady you are. But I don't think it's accurate all the time. Every morning I wake up, I uh, grab a pencil and I write at least uh, two pages before I, uh, putting on my makeup. <laughs> when you're working in intelligence agencies or your colleagues, you, you, you have no idea whether they are complete idiots or geniuses. You don't know where they've gone. You don't know whether they've been promoted, demoted, or sacked. She is moving, she is sweating, she is crying. I am dancing. I was told that this is a special festival, but I don't think I could have imagined how amazing it is. The scenery is exquisite and it's small. And I think the two things put together mean you have this really intimate experience here. I was I was on stage with Colin McCann, one of the novelists that I've admired for so long, but it felt like we were just on the beach enjoying a little chit chat. I had this real interesting idea that we're all multi-local. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all be witnesses that I said it yeah, first. Yeah. <laughs> Multi-local will forever in my mind be the way I describe myself and I'll know that it came from 